little family spring flower here and welcome to spring's little flower button nursery hi guys today is saturday and as you know saturday is dolly day here in spring's little flower buds nursery so i'm just on her right at this moment i'm actually looking for some socks some particular socks because i'm there to dress one of my babies not her she's already all dressed up and look oh okay yo look at her doesn't she look adorable she looks so, 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 so adorable. And she had on some denim bloomers as well. Doesn't she look so adorable, you guys? My little star. This is Star, you guys. Star is one of my oldest babies in my collection. She is a beloved baby doll that used to belong to my grandmother. And so now she's here with me in my collection. And I'm so happy. Say hi, Star. She looks so pretty in her little denim dress. This is what happens when you're cleaning up you know sorting through your stuff because you get to come across things that you totally forgot about or don't even remember that you had in the first place like this denim dress i even forgot i had it i can't even remember that i had it to be honest so when i put it i'm like oh star will look so good in that so she has i paired her i put this on her this denim dress is buttoned on and i changed her earrings put some good earrings on her and then I put on some knee-high red socks with some black little shoes with a bow on it. And, of course, a little red hairband that I attached a black bow to. And she's borrowing her sister's um, girl chain today. And she just looks super cute for a Saturday, right? She looks absolutely adorable, right, Star? You like it, isn't it? Star was happy when I put on this outfit. She's like, Mama, I like this. And Star's my little tomboy. She don't really like to wear too many dresses, but I'm like, Star... You have to wear this dress today because you look super cute and you have to wear it. And at first, she was kind of fighting me and didn't want to wear it and until I put it on her. And she was like, oh, mommy, it looks so cute. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, I'm just her. And now I'm looking for some socks because I want to dress up another baby. I want to dress another one of my babies up right now. But I'm trying to find these particular socks. I did pull another pair just in case I don't find the ones that I'm looking for. I pulled these ones out just in case I don't find the ones that I'm looking for. But I'm going to keep looking. Hold on. I'll be right back. I think I need to look in a different spot. Hold okay, on. guys. I'm back. I don't see the particular socks that I'm looking for, but that's okay. I'm just going to dress her in something diff some different socks. And here she is. This is my um, Surprise and Delight by Paradise Gallery. Say hi, Sabrina. I named her Sabrina. And um, I'm going to change her clothes into a really cute outfit. I'm going to change her into these cute little socks now she can wear. I wanted to find these longer ones that are like off-white with little lace on it, but I can't find them. So she wore the short ones, and she's going to wear her original shoes that she came with. And she's going to also sport her original jacket that she came with, right? And it says, what it says on the back, oh, so loved. And she's going to wear this cute little dress that has, like, love hearts on it. Little love hearts, girl love hearts on it. And then I'll probably find a girl bow or something for her hair. But let's get her ready. And I'm also going to dress another one of my babies in something similar. I don't know if it's going to be today that I'm going to dress her and dress the other baby. But for today, I'm dressing little Miss Sabrina. So, okay, so you guys, I decided to... um change up this little girl and just sit down and have a chat and um as you can see by the title of my video i just wanted to talk a little bit about while i changed this little girl about um you see the question is even though we have many differences in this um doll hobby differences of opinions differences how we do our hobby differences with how we think can we still get along can we still be dolly friends can we still get along if we have a difference of opinion especially when it's a hot button topic can we still get along and my immediate answer to that is pretty much yes for the most part i feel like if we are grown adults that we are that we should be able to still get along even though we might not agree on everything we might not have the same thought pattern on any on everything 
what we do have in common is that we really do have a love for dolls hence the reason why um we are even here in this doll community and why we are here sharing dolls and sharing our experiences with dolls um yeah that's the thing that we have to remember so what's making me have this come what's make what made me think about talking about this subject because i was just watching youtube videos today and just it, it was just dawning on me how like well, you know, even though we're all here in this community, we are all we're, we're very different. You know what he's saying? But we're different. And we just have to accept that um, we're, we're going to be different. We're going to be different and don't have any harsh judgment on on individual people or, you know, putting up your putting up your 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 walls up against people just because they might have a different opinion from you. And that they might they voice it in their in their um in their videos. It's no reason now to start hating on that person or talking bad about that person because they may have a difference of opinion or a different way of doing things from you. You know, and that's why for me personally, I made my own personal decision that um you know in this community, I I am not here to judge anyone with anything. Anything that they do, I'm not here to judge them. I'm not here to look at them any sort of way. None of that. I'm only here to enjoy them. If I see them clearly just having fun and enjoying them, do enjoying their doll babies, whatever doll it is and whatever way they want to enjoy it, that's up. That's for, that's what I'm gonna do. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna worry about what type of doll. If I think the doll is pretty, if I think the doll is ugly, if the doll is an authentic um doll or a knockoff um any of that like if, if if you're a dolly mommy or uh a, just a doll collector that will rather just because we have some people in the community hi guys i'm back i just had to go answer my door somebody was knocking on my door but yeah so i as i was saying um before i got up you know all of us collect really differently you got some people that just collect because they just love the art of those so they would just rather collect the doll, maybe change the clothes, keep them pristine, don't really play from too much, put them in a glass cabinet or whatever. And then you have people like me, not only am I a collector, but I'm also a dolly mummy. Like I just love dolls and I love to play with them. Like I play with my dolls. And I remember, you know, um, I know that some people look at us, even in the doll community, those that play with dolls, I mean, really play from, take our dolls for walks and strollers, um, do feedings, do um daytime and nighttime routines, and just actually really play with the dolls. I mean, doing voiceovers for dolls, pretending that the babies, the toddlers can talk, all that kind of stuff. Some people, even in the community, would look at that like, gosh, you're a little crazy. Like, you know, at one point it was like that. I've never seen people like that now, but at one point it was like that where people was like, I don't know how you always play with those dolls like that, you know. But some people cho choose to play. And some people just choose to collect. So that's a difference right there. You know, some of us are dolly mamas, some of us are dolly collectors. And, um, you know, people said, had their opinions on it and stuff like that. But the whole point is, again, it just brings us back to whether you're a dolly mama or a dolly collector. You um, still love dolls. You still love dolls, you know, and that's why you're here in this community, right? So that's one way we're, we're different, you know, from each other. And then we have people that, um, one of the hot, hot button topics that's been a hot button topic for a minute now is, um, fake versus authentic, you know, knockoff dolls versus real dolls, you know, and how some of us in the community are like, look, we're just getting what we could afford or we're just getting what we like or whatever the case may be, you know, we just buy dolls or whatever the case may be. And others are totally against it. You know, like don't ever buy a knockoff. You're the worst person in the world for buying a knockoff and all that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? So again, that's a hot button topic. So, you know, some people totally not for it. Some people ain't worrying about it. Me personally, um, while I understand it's an issue, I'm not worrying about, I don't worry about that. I made up my mind that I'm not worrying about what your doll is. I'm not worrying about if it's a knockoff. I'm not worrying about if it's, if it's authentic. I just want to enjoy your dolls with you. That's my, what I decided to do. You know what I mean? For me and myself and for my nursery. And also for me, myself and my nursery, I am going to collect whatever I want to collect. I'm not worrying about what anybody else feels about a doll 
I'm collecting what I like. You know what I mean? So, and whether it's authentic, whether it's a knockoff, whether they came from Amazon, whether they came from a door artist, that's just for me and my nursery now, you know? So, yeah, so again, that's where we're different. You know, does that mean that we have to have animosity towards each other because of these differences, you know? And then you have somebody that, um, like um, just the other day with the Claire Taylor and her new baby and the way how she's choosing to do her sales and the way how some of the door artists are choosing to do the door auctions and the door sales and stuff. Some people's for it. Some people are against it. Any, some people like it. Some people don't like it, you know, and those that like it talk about what they like. Those that don't like it speak about why they don't like it, you know, and again, does that, is that wrong? You know, is that wrong to just speak your opinion on something without you know, causing a conflict or an issue? Does it have to be bothersome? To me, when I look at people's videos and I may not agree with everything that they're saying, I'm like, okay, well, that's your opinion. You know what I mean? That Okay, that's your opinion. And that's fine. I'm still going to look at your dolls. I'm, as long as you're not rude, as long as you're not nasty towards someone, that's the only way that I don't rock with people. Like, if you're just rude and you're just nasty, you got a bitterness about you. That's the only way I don't rock with people or their channels. Outside of that, man, everybody's welcome and open to have their own thought pattern and their own way of doing things. Because remember, it's your doors your way, right? <laughs> so it just made me think, you know, like, you know, I have a whole dolly room. This is my doll, doll room that I'm in. And some people think this is a waste, like having a whole space for um inanimate objects that don't use. Some people think, oh, that's too much. You're doing too much. You know what I mean? You don't need a room. You can just pack those things down a container when you're, you're finished playing with them. And again, to each his end, right? That's my point. It's like, my point is that we are all different, but what is same when it comes down to um the love of these baby dolls. We're different, but what is same, you guys. And that's that's mainly what I try to focus on, our, our sameness, our oneness in the community, like in the sense of like we're all here as um, adults and we're all here as um, do dolly lovers. And for me, when I say all, I mean majority. I don't mean, I know I don't know everybody's life and everybody's, you know, reasons for things, but I'm just talking in general here when I say we're all here, you know, and um. Yeah, and that's what I try to remember no matter what. So when I'm watching somebody and I might not be agreeing with something that they are saying, it's not there for me to come on their on their post and be, hey, rah, 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 you know, having all being all upset or going to going to another social media platform and 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 kind of talking about it and and not talking about it in a conversational way, but talking about it in a controversial kind of way. You know what I mean? It's just everybody has their own way of doing stuff. And that's what we have to remember. So I feel like no matter what, um, no matter what's one, no matter what a collector's doing or how they are, I feel like we can all still really, we could really get along, guys. That's how I feel. And for me personally, like I'm the queen of I'm the queen of um peace and love. And yeah, I know it's not all butterflies and rainbows and it's giving me some hot button topics that really, you you know, might fire some people up. But this is where we have, so, this is where we have something called self-control and about how you're going to react to something and how you're going to respond to something. That's the key. You know, your reactions and your response to how you feel about a topic. You know, as to not just begin around hurting people's feelings. But at the same time too, I say that with a grain of salt because also... We being in the social media, we have to have top skin, you know, just have top skin. You have to. If you're going to be in this social media world, no matter what platform you're on and no matter what you're doing, if you're going to be in the social media world, you have to have some top skin because it's going to be some people that might be, a, you know, totally against you and might, you know, want to say something about it. And that's where you have to have control over your channel and what you allow. Like for me, I've said it before. You know, I don't allow any rude comments on my channel. I know some people allow, you know, people just come on the channel and comment anything they want. I don't allow that. I, I, I block and delete quick. I block and delete. Block, delete. Because I don't want that energy in my space. But I am here for topics of conversation. I am here to listen to 
people's different opinions on stuff and how they feel about something. And for the most part, whether somebody's agreeing, whether I agree with what the person's saying or not, for the most part, I could always see that, you know, the person that's having the conversation, they have some good points. You know, they have some good, they have some good points and good reasons for why they feel the way they feel and why they are choosing to do what they do. You know what I mean? So yeah, so I'm feeling like no matter um you look so cute. Look at how you got you like so cute. Let me put our shoes on. So no matter what we're here for, you know, we can still really enjoy each other's company. Cause you know, being on this on this um in this community, on the YouTube community and and in the doll baby community, we we are enjoying each other's company. Basically, that's what we're doing. You know, what we're coming, again, we come from all over the world. We're coming from all walks of life, all different circumstances, all kinds of backgrounds. You know, we're here to enjoy each other's company, you know. And we always, the nice part, the one of the best parts about being on social media. If you honestly don't like something, if something's really bothering you that much, you don't have to watch. <laughs> you do not have to watch. Like right now with this topic of conversation I'm having, it might be real redundant to some people and some people might not want to hear it anymore because they feel like, oh, I heard this topic so many times before. We don't have to talk about this topic anymore, whatever. And they might decide to scroll on by and that's the beauty of it. You can do that. <laughs> so you have to take advantage of that. You know what I mean? But one thing that's a pet peeve, one thing that's a pet peeve is don't come on somebody's channel a pet peeve for me you're not even really watch the video you are just maybe read the title and maybe watch one second of the video and decide that you're gonna have this whole commentary without really listening to what the person is actually saying now that's a pet peeve don't do that you know if you're not gonna actually watch the video and listen to what somebody has to say about a topic don't comment because half the times when you're commenting you're all out of pocket, you know, because you don't even know what you're saying or what you're talking about or you don't even understand where the person's coming from because you haven't taken the time out to listen to where they're coming from. You know what I mean? Especially when it comes to these hot button topics or just a topic, period, you know, just a topic, period. So, yeah, guys, I just thought that was interesting. I was just watching all the different facets. I was watching um a lady the other day. Um, what's she called? Reborn Love? No, it wasn't Reborn Love. I'm so bad. I need to write down the names of these channels. I just come across that. This is a new channel that I um, just started looking at. And this lady, she does pure role play. She does so much role play with her dolls. She has um, Reborns and she has Amazon dolls. And she has, um, um, she does pure role play on her channel. I think it's so cute. And she has, I love her channel. It is so cute. I wish this lady might be here watching her doing the role play. She does all the voices and stuff. You know, for her dolls and all the little baby sons and all that. She does it, right? So, um, I just thought it was so cute. And she has a collection of dolls that she has artist made, toddler dolls. She's got toddler dolls that she found on um, Amazon. And she's got her artist, you know, custom made um, reborns. And she has, I think, an Ashton Drake or a Paradise Gallery doll. But she's got, like, an array of dolls in her collection. And... The reason why I'm, I'm using her as an example is because if I was somebody that was so highly opinionated or so like, uh, she has fake, she has knockoff dolls, I'm not watching her channel, I would be missing a good channel. Because the channel is fun. It's a fun channel, you know. If I get the name, I'm going to stick it in the um, description box. But it's a fun channel. And it's so cute. And the way how she role plays with her little toddlers is just the cutest in the world. Like, it's super cute. And I really enjoy watching it you know what i mean and it was fun to me you know so that's why i'm saying like like don't shut people out you know but if you choose to shut people out for whatever reason that's up to you because everybody has what has stuff being what they like and what they don't like and yeah right up there with even um some people buy really expensive baby clothes for their babies and some buy walmart stuff or thrift store stuff you know and it's okay, you know, we can see, some people say, you, that's too much money you're spending on that door buying all them expensive clothes and totally disagree with it. And then you got others that's like, I think it's so cool. Like me personally, I, I love it. I absolutely love it. I just love to see um, babies getting dressed anyway, whether it's high-end clothes, whether it's um, 
whether it's high-end clothes or whether it's just store clothes i love to see how dolly mamas and daddies dress their babies and pull them together she looks so cute you guys she's got this real like urban chic type of style to me on with her suede shoes and her lacy socks and her cute little um she has that look how cute she looks guys don't she look so cute don't she look so cute <laughs> A big boom i love it <laughs> yeah, let me pick her throat some more i like it baby i think you look cute <laughs> what if i got um bring some more kind of dampness to her curls let's see but y'all yeah, guys it's all about just enjoying this hobby and having fun no matter what our differences uh just look at what's the same the same is that we love 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 those that's the same that's the same. You know, that's what's the same. We love those, man. That's what's the same thing, you know, with her. And I know that if it was not for this reborn community, it would it was a it would be a lot of those I would have never never knew existed. Beautiful, gorgeous those that I would have never knew existed. I would have never known about different door artists. I would have never known about silicone babies. I would have never known about some of these awesome baby accessories, you know, that we have for our dolls if it weren't for you guys. So I watch everybody. I watch everybody and how they play. You know what I mean? I watch everybody and how they play and I, I enjoy it. You know, you guys already know I enjoy the doll, doll community very, very much. But I feel that just to wrap it up, I feel that it is very possible to have we could have differences of opinion from north to south, east to west, as far apart as, as far apart from each other as possible. But we need to respect each other's differences of opinions on things and keep it pushing, you know. And if we if we stumble, if we go if if we follow people, you know, or subscribe to people, and that partic particular topic you, you you don't really like or you don't really want to watch, then you just don't watch it. Doesn't mean you got to scrap the whole channel, you know what I mean? Like I said, none of less depressive stuff always read and filled with a lot of drama. That's when I do scrap a channel, like I said before. I scrap a channel when a person is just really rude. And I know the difference between rude and just having an opinion. You know, so that's the only time I scrap a channel. I've had to scrap a couple. I haven't had, had to do it as of as of um as of late. I haven't had to do it in a while. So that's a good thing. But um yeah, it happens. Sometimes you got to scrap a channel, let it go. And, um, yeah, but outside of that, I just enjoy the channels, guys. I learned so much. I learned different ways of how to dress my baby up, you know. One, two, two Dolly friends that I follow, um, I love the way that they dress their babies. And that's, um, uh, Reborn Huggy, Reborn Huggy. Anyway, I love how she dresses her babies. That's Ines, where she she does this zine where she puts these sweaters on the babies and have the and has the legs out. No, I'm not. I don't know if she started it, but I I've seen her do it the most. And she has and she has her legs out and puts like big booties on her feet. I just think that's so cute. Her, she does it and Shelby does it. Um, and I like that. And I and I and I did that before, and I'm gonna do it again. You know, because I think it just looks so cute on the babies. You know, so I like the way um the babes are dressed. My friend K times too from. K times two reborn nursery. I love the way um she she shops and she always introduces us to new boutiques. Like and I think that's so cool. Like new baby boutiques and you know different places where we could find really awesome baby items and baby clothes. So I enjoy all of that. I enjoy all of that, and I enjoy different channels for different things. Even though I don't do as much role play, I want to get into more role play. But even though I don't do as much role play. I really do enjoy role play channels. I, I, I do. I, I love to lay off and watch the whole little storyline. I love watching little nighttime routines, morning routines. I love um when you all take your babies for a walk in the stroller and stuff. Like, I like all that. You know what I mean? And I really do enjoy conversational videos. You know, I enjoy conversational videos where um Dolly Mamas or Dolly Daddies are there changing a baby and having, and having a topic. And that's what I like to do as well. Change your baby and just have a chat. I love chat videos. I love chat videos and having a topic. So, yeah, guys, I think we could really continue to, no matter what, um, 
have differences of opinion and still respect each other and still get along. I think we can still get along. And if it's a situation where you honestly feel like I just can't get along with that person, then keep it pushing. <laughs> just keep it pushing, you know? But yeah, Dolly family, that's it for me today. I think my little baby girl looks so adorable. Oh my goodness. I really love the way her outfit came out. She looks so super cute. <laughs> she looks so super cute. And I'm going to dress... Um, I have another outfit that's similar to this that I'm going to put on my, my Sarah Ann. So, yeah. They'll be together posing in a minute. But does she look so cute? She just looks like a... She just looks like a big girl. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm not sure if I like the bow going to the side. But I think I kind of do. So, I think I'm going to leave it. I think I'm going to leave it. <laughs> but, yes, guys. So, yeah, that's it for me today. And um, I hope that you enjoyed this topic and understand where I'm coming from. And I hope that we just continue as we go forward. You know, we're still dealing with this pandemic and stuff in 2021. And we're still not free yet. I call it not being free yet. We ain't quite free yet. You know, we still got to be cautious and tread lightly and deal with all the things we got to deal with. So, this is our enjoyment space, and I think that we should continue. You know, I, I just wish that all of us, I wish the best for all of us, that we continue to enjoy our space to the best of our abilities and continue to just, let's just respect each other and um, kind of just enjoy this hobby. You know, just continue to enjoy these doors and enjoy this hobby. And, yeah, that's what it's all about, guys. And that's it for me today, and I just want to say, I love you, Dolly family, and remember... It's your dose, your way. Bye-bye. Say bye, Mina. Oh, no, you're not your Mina. Yeah, Sabrina. <laughs> Say bye, Sabrina. Delightful. Say bye, Dolly family. We love you. We love you. We love you. <laughs> you want to turn it off? Turn it off, baby. Turn it off. Turn it. You could do it. You could do it. Press the button. 